up in the building. Worry about the and now our kill the tape for this lightweight scrap. We send it inside the octagon. The veteran voice is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Hound Dog. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Islam Malkachev. Ready to fight? Ready. Good. All right, round getting underway, and we take a look at the Combat Sambo World Champion and UFC lightweight contender, Islam Malkachev. What will he do in this fight? Well, oftentimes he does whatever he wants to do. Certainly he can impose his will on the ground where his game is just so nuanced when it comes to the throws and the trips and the manipulation of joints and everything else. But on the feet, in a kickboxing setting, this man has proven to lead as well. A true five to a player who many believe by year's end could just be the king of the lightweight division. Big ground and pound. Good job being a threat off your back and not allowing your opponent to get comfortable. Oh, nice. Makashev's right back to the full mount here. Oh. Just gotta be careful here. Makashev's in half guard. Lands the grounded pound strike here. Another strike gets through from the top position. Nice strike from the bottom fighter there. <clears throat> Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. Oh, could be the beginning of the end. That looks tight. Oh, he's Oh, he caught out. How good is that? This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything long to allow for himself to get subbed. Trying to guard pass here. Not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. Under a minute now to go round one. Fighter trying to pass here. Ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job. Great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Oh, shades of the godfather of the ground and pound, Mark Coleman, as he lands again. Coley somewhere smiling, watching this guy land from the top position. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. And there it is, another strike gets through on the ground. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Islam Akasha. Uh, watch the arm, watch the arm, Mark Coleman. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. So the fighter was really caught in the submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable strike. All right, so there's the end of the round. You know, few things more exciting in mixed martial arts than a submission, and he nearly had one there. He almost had it. He had it locked in. He thought the fight was over, but his opponent was able to escape. But the next time, if he goes back to that position, maybe he gets the finish he wants so bad. Straight right, he misses. Well, how good was that combo? He is really doing a nice job stringing his shots together now. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Oh, and there's that double leg takedown. Great work here from the bottom fighter. Trying to pass 
to guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter. The bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. Oh, he reverses the position now. Nice work on the ground by Islam Bakasha. Oh, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Well, on paper, it looked like a grappling advantage for him coming in, and largely DC, that's the way it's played out. The takedowns, the ground control. <laughs> Strikes continue to land. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it. And you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Nice positional control here. Back him out now. Massive shot from the top. Oh, right into mouth. Keep that top position and work your elbow. Right now, it looks like he may be trying to set up an arm triangle choke. He needs to secure the left arm, push it across. And secured with his head. Oh, so now he bails on the submission. He bailed, and rightfully so. You keep the dominant position. Great job. Very smart fighter we got there. All right, trying to pass here. Robert Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked, and keeping them in full guard. He is getting lit up. His face already has a big oh. hook on side. All right, round three coming up next. All right, so that's the end of the round. Potential adversity here. He's got a cut on his cheek sustained from that strike in the round. Now the focus becomes maximizing these 60 seconds, shutting that cut and preventing it from becoming a major factor here moving forward. All right, back to the stools we go, and it's starting to look like a second mouth on his cheek. <laughs> yeah, it looks terrible. I mean, the guy is getting hit with big shots. One big enough to open up a nasty cut on his cheek. While it's in a better spot, it still is very difficult to deal with. Like if he absorbs another strike on that cheek, he might actually be able to Ready eat fight. through that cut <laughs> on his cheek. I'm just Good. saying. He's got a good mouth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice jab to the dome by Islam Akasha. Starting to do some really. Akasha gets the double leg takedown. Nice job there, disguising his entry. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. There it is. Now he's going to mount. Relentless pressure from the top by Islam Makasha. The ground strikes continue to pile up. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. All right, he continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. Oh, getting leaky now. The hard ground and pound has opened up a cut. Three minutes now to go in the fight. Oh, nice movement to avoid that strike coming down. Gotta be careful here. Postures up now and lands a vicious head strike. Not being just offensive, but offensive off of his back. Great punch lands. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Matumbo style, he gets denied. Blocked! 
Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. Well, we'll see who has the edge here as they get back to their feet after a pretty engaged battle there on the ground. And both of these guys should feel pretty satisfied because they both had their moments and they both showed true skill on the ground. He's got to either go southpaw or he has to actually just try to throw a whole kitchen sink at him. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Islam Akashev gets tattooed by that straight punch. The cool fighters start to open up a little bit. Well, it looks as though that strike may open up a cut around the eye. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but it's nothing to worry about now. But he's got to start to protect him. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 29 28, 30 27, and 30 27. Declared the winner by unanimous decision, Islam Makachev. All right, congratulations to him. He is your winner by unanimous decision and certainly a dominant performance here tonight. Yeah, he did a great job of just dictating and controlling all the engagements of this fight. His opponent never really had an opportunity to lead the dance. He did that from start to finish, and he wins a unanimous decision.